DK Mac. In today's episode. My name is Ken Artuz, your host on television streaming. Lionsgate plans the Blair Witch Project series, movies, The Grudge, MIB, get reboots, movies, Rob Zombie's Three from Hell, cast developments. And we are kicking off with segment one. Segment one, Blair Witch Project series. Our first segment, this is an interesting piece and it draws focus on our current ever-expanding platform for digital distribution, especially for horror-themed content. A few weeks ago, it was announced that American Canadian entertainment company Lionsgate or Lionsgate Entertainment Corporation launched Studio L to create and distribute a wide variety of content one of which includes a series, a television series, based on the Blair Witch Project concept. As we all know, the Blair Witch is a staple in horror cinema, and many attest that the film kicked off the found footage, mockumentary style of visual storytelling. In the years that followed, there were many films that were inspired in some way by the filmmaking tactics delivered in the Blair Witch Project. Yet, that's a topic for another discussion. To get an idea on future content from Studio L, Seth Laderman, Studio L Executive Vice President, stated the following, quote, The projects announced today signal our commitment to finding standout material, incubating new talent and delivering authentic storytelling. We will also continue to cultivate and foster fresh opportunities with existing Lionsgate properties, all built around Studio L's low risk, high reward distribution model." Unquote. From that comment, we can assess that many more horror content will be distributed on Studio L's platform, beginning with the series for The Blair Witch Project. Keep in mind, Saw is also under the Lionsgate umbrella. It would be interesting to see if that in some way, shape or form will develop into a series in itself. But going back to the focus at hand, the Blair Witch Project, here are some interesting figures to absorb surrounding the Blair Witch franchise. The Blair Witch Project released on July 16th, 1999. It had a modest production budget of $60,000. It's unclear what plans Lionsgate and their new branded Studio L have for the Blair Witch. News of this announcement hit the web on the 22nd of February 2018. Therefore, we can only wait for further information on the Blair Witch series once it trickles in. What are your opinions on this addition to the Blair Witch series? Coming up next. Segment 2. The Grudge Remake There seems to be a growing controversy and debate within the horror community in regards to reboots and remakes. And here we have news of another reboot. Supernatural horror thriller The Grudge is getting a reboot. According to IMDB, Nicholas Pence, notable for his film The Eyes of My Mother, will serve as director. Screenwriter Jeff Burr will pen the screenplay. The synopsis, for now, reads as follows. A house is cursed by a vengeful ghost that curses those who entered with a violent death. The cast is in the development phase with more names to be attached as the project progresses within the upcoming weeks. So far, actors John Chu, 
Damien, Britcher, and actress Andrea Riseborough are on board. One actress in particular is causing waves in the horror community, and that is the addition of actress Lynn Shane. Lynn Shane is a prominent figure in the horror genre with films such as Insidious and Ouija. As of this moment, it is unconfirmed what roles each actor and actress are slated to portray. The reboot comes after Sony Pictures' worldwide acquisitions recently took over the worldwide rights of the film. Here are some additional news on this upcoming project. Sam Raimi and Rob Tapper will produce The Grudge through their film production company, Ghost House. It looks like Sony wants to push this reboot of The Grudge sooner rather than later. Filming begins May 2018. So, even if you're not a horror film connoisseur, you should be well acquainted with the long-haired, vengeful apparition, the antagonizing force featured in The Grudge. It's not the first US remake. The first reboot was a PG-13 release in 2004. The film was also directed by Takeshi Shimishu and the writers were Stefan Sisko and it starred Sarah Michelle Gellar in the lead. In related news, Sony Pictures also has another film in the works in the planning stages. In the works, but little information is provided at this moment. Details are sketchy, but according to The Hollywood Reporter, two performers are slated to be attached to this upcoming science fiction action comedy. It is the reboot of Men in Black. Actress Tessa Thompson and actor Chris Helmsworth are reuniting once again. Both had worked previously on the film Thor Ragnarok, with Tessa Thompson portraying the role as Valkyrie and of course Chris Helmsworth is Thor. The Hollywood Reporter states in their article that Sony's trying to reinvigorate the Men in Black franchise with a new set of characters. So, with this in mind, we can now see that Agent K and Agent J, the original set of characters portrayed by Tommy Lee Jones and Will Smith, will not be a part of this narrative. Men in Black released back in 1997, wow, long time ago, the one hour 38 minute PG-13 action adventure comedy was directed by Barry Sunfeld and it was written by Lowell Cunningham and Ed Solomon. For those who have not seen the film or who are unaware of this franchise, the synopsis for Men in Black reads as follows. A police officer joins a secret organization that policies and monitors extraterrestrial interactions. Director F. Gary Gary is slated to direct the Men in Black reboot with screenwriter Matt Holloway and Art Markham penning the script. Sony has a release date already set, so we can expect filming to begin soon. So, the release date so far, and of course this is tentative, is the 14th of June, 2019. Segment 3. Rob Zombie 3 from Hell Developments. If you are a Rob Zombie fan, you are already well aware of his upcoming film. The filmmaker slash musician has a project in the works and is stirring interest in the horror community. His next film is the upcoming continuation for the House of a Thousand Corpses and the Devil's Rejects franchise. 
Released in 2005, The Devil's Rejects tells the story of three sadistic, homicidal anti-heroes. The synopsis for The Devil's Rejects reads as follows. The murderous, backwards, firefly family take to the road to escape a vengeful police force which is not afraid of being as ruthless as their target. The Devil's Rejects was directed and written by Rob Zombie and star actor Sid Haig, actress Sherry Moon Zombie and actor Bill Mosley. According to IMDB, the title of the third installment is Three From Hell. And we have some updates on the casting developments. Renowned horror actress Dee Wallace has joined the cast. She will be joining Sid Haig, Sherry Moon Zombie, and Bill Mosley. Also on board are actors Austin Stoker, Bill Oberis Jr., and actress Jan Haig. In the recent days, the cast has grown to include Jeff Daniel Phillips and Emilio Rivera. Horror connoisseurs should be well versed with the final act to The Devil's Rejects. This scene showed the demise of the antagonistic characters of Otis, Captain Spaulding, and Baby Firefly. For those unfamiliar with the film, definitely check out The Devil's Rejects and A House of a Thousand Corpses so that way once Three From Hell's release you are well versed on the storyline. If it's anything similar, Three From Hell, if it's anything similar to Rob Zombie's last film 31 with his strong visuals and gory aesthetic, horror connoisseurs are in for a real horror treat. According to Rob Zombie's Instagram post, filming for Three From Hell already has begun. Filming began on the 15th of March 2018 and a release date is yet pending. Thank you for listening. Once again, my name is Ken Artuz, your host, founder for DK Mag. Be sure to catch the audio for this segment on anchor.fm and the written word form on our website, dkmag.com.